Hi there Pisces, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. In this reading we are going to look at who your next true love may be, if you're single, available and that is what you are wanting. So I'm not going to use any fixed positions, I'm just going to draw the cards and see what comes through in terms of the description of this person. We've got the first one, the Sun. Now this is Leo in the Major Arcana, it links to Leo and it shows somebody who may have overcome a big obstacle or a big hurdle in their life. They may have gone through some kind of healing process that's really led them to to be you know reborn in a sense. They could be somebody who has really felt into their vulnerability. Somebody who is really positive maybe after the journey, maybe after what they've experienced. Somebody who's always looking on the bright side of life. What else do we have Pisces? Four of Swords, yeah, I mean somebody who could have been in recovery, recovery from heartbreak, recovery from an addiction, um, it can be that energy, this is also the energy of, you know, that kind of calm, that pause, that, that slower sort of energy, it could be somebody who meditates as well, somebody who likes to have their time out, somebody who likes to have their time away to, to self-reflect, so that's what I'm feeling with that one. The star, this is Aquarius here. So again, we sort of see that, that sense of healing, of regrounding. So I do feel like it's someone who has overcome something quite big in their life and has done the work to, to rebalance themselves um, energetically. Uh, again, we see the nudity here. So it's somebody who doesn't mind being vulnerable or has um, you know, been made to feel vulnerable through what they've experienced and that has really helped them um, open their heart. Uh, with the star energy, it could be somebody that you have been trying to manifest, right? Somebody who really is your wildest dreams here because the, the star can talk about um, wish fulfillment and fulfilling your wishes. The star uh, being the energy of Aquarius and the Aquarian energy can be, really can be um, linked to, to technology. So it could be somebody who is working with technology, IT, somebody who is working online or somebody who's really interested in, in new gadgets and new technology and computers gaming that kind of that kind of thing five of swords yeah I mean could be somebody who's overcome even anger issues or gone through some kind of sense of conflict in their life and maybe now they have learned how to how to, to take that pause, maybe somebody who has learned the skills of meditation and things like that so that they can um, manage their emotions because that's what the five of swords can be. It could be somebody who is a really clear and direct communicator as well that maybe sometimes it can get a little bit harsh with that five of swords. And the nine of swords, you know, maybe somebody who has dare I say it, had their, their fair share of um, stress and anxiety, sometimes even depression with this. It could have been somebody who had quite an overactive mind, especially with that Aquarian energy is what I'm feeling, maybe insomnia, because um, I'm, with these three cards here, it really would indicate that overactive mind, overanalyzing, overthinking, and maybe tipping over to anxiety. And I'm kind of feeling that maybe that is one of the journeys that this person has been on, and maybe they have... Um, been trying to learn how to take the time out, how to take the pause, how to shift their energy, how to meditate. And the Queen of Swords, it's the energy of Libra. Now this can link to, to the legal realm, public servant. They might be doing something in terms of that kind of work. Um, this is somebody who has learned to, to see the big picture, be able to take a step back and really assess things with quite an analytical kind of viewpoint so that they can make good moves forward. It could be somebody who has quite strong boundaries as well. Somebody who uh, has claimed that victory in their life. So I'm really feeling like they may have gone through some kind of rebirth, some kind of transformation here, because the Queen of Swords can most definitely talk about that 
as well. This is queen energy. It's an energy of maturity, you know, knowing when to use your, um, your authority. Again, this can talk about, you know, really clear and direct communicator as well. And somebody who's a truth seeker, somebody who's really done a lot of work on themselves so that they can um, be in a place of alignment in their life. I'm kind of getting this energy of somebody who really doesn't um, beat around the bush, we say here, or, or muck around. They like to be clear and direct. They like to sort of move move quickly. Um, and yeah, that, that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing. So Queen of Swords, maybe sort of legal works, maybe something to do with teaching, communicating, mentoring as well. They could be using that life experience in one of those realms. So guys, that's what I have for you. That's the kind of person that I'm seeing here. I hope that resonates for some of you. You may not know until a little bit further down the track if this person shows up for you. Um, do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, guys. It may or may not be for you. Drop me a comment if you're cool to share. Do read them all. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with the energies and see what's happening out there in the collective. Has been a pleasure. Pisces, I will see you back here for another one really soon. Bye for now.